Welcome everyone to another programming tutorial. And this is a tutorial on animation. And um, I'll show you here what I've done already. Let's start the animation. You see this thing changes a bunch of different colors. And I can stop that. Now here are all the different images. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it basically cycles through them from one to two to three to four to five and then finally to six. Um, and how I do that, very simply, like regularly you'd have to have like some sort of if statement that says, okay, I need to draw this one, I need to draw this one, and the next one, and it would be complicated, but this way, I just have a method in an animation class called give next image, and it basically figures out which image you need to display next and gives it to you. As you can see up here, I define animate, which I do call down here as a new animation, and with an array of images from the properties resources here one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. And so basically, it uh, cycles through one at a time from the next to the next, and when it reaches the end, it goes back to beginning again. And I'll show you the code for that. You can see I have an array of images. I have the position, or rather, which image it's currently on, or the frame. You can think of it as like frames in an animation. And then down here, it uh, returns bitmap, which it sets equal to the uh, image that it needs to display next. As you can see, um, it takes the place, checks whether it's less than images.length finds the current image, and then increments it by one. And then if this is actually, if place is actually longer than length, which is the else statement here, it resets it back to zero, and then gives it as position zero, and then increments that to one, then returns it. This is a really easy way to do animations because then you don't have to keep track of which image needs to be displayed. You can just say, give next image, and it'll give you the correct image for display um, right here. So I'll show you this again, and then I uh, probably will end this and start it, stop it, start it, stop it. And yeah, you could replace this with anything else you wanted, though you wouldn't have to do you know images like this. You could do some stick figure walking, and each one of these is a different position in the walking. So yeah, that's how you do animation. Um, at least that's the easy way to do it. You do it a bunch of different ways, truthfully. Um, all right, so I hope this uh, tutorial enlightened you. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment or a question or um, anything else you want in the comment section below. And of course, uh, remember to leave a rating, whether you liked it or disliked it. All right, see everyone next time. Bye.